Um, I'll never forget. I was in uh, high school. I just had practice um, in Missouri State was uh, visiting practice. And immediately after practice, I got a phone call from Coach Finley offering me, and I said yes right away. Um, I've always had a dream to play in the Big 12. Uh, I promised my grandpa when I was younger, I was like, I don't care what team, what team it is, I don't care how cold it is, um, I'm gonna play in the Big 12. And crazy thing, you know, I didn't even tell my dad that I committed before I committed, so <laughs> that was, uh, one of the funny parts, but he he asked me, you know, where's where's Iowa on the map? Do you even know like what you're getting into? And uh, I had no idea, but I was you know ready for an adventure, and um, I'm glad I ended up here. Uh, well, I've always been a Cyclone fan my entire life, um, so it's kind of an easy decision when Coach called me. It's really funny because I can just relive the story every time somebody asks me about it um, because it was in the summer and. I was at my mom's office and she kind of blew the secret, actually. She was so excited, she was crying. He called me and offered me and I was so happy that I started crying and I said yes right away and because I've always been a Cyclones fan. It's been a dream to come play here and it's been phenomenal. My first time in uh, Ames, I attended a football game and uh, it was crazy to see like the amount of tailgating that you would see at like an NFL game because Back home, my parents are season uh, ticket holders for the Texans, so seeing that there was a lot more tailgating than some of those games, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into? So I was, I was really excited, and uh, my first time in Hilton, you know, walking out onto the court and seeing the amount of support that, you know, the, the city of Ames has, and it's amazing, and you, you don't find a place like that, whether, you know, you're winning or you're losing, it's... It's, a, it's an atmosphere you, you, you don't want to leave. You always want to have it by your side. And uh, Hilton Magic is real. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, you know, we've done some amazing things in this gym, but we would have not been able to do them without, um, you know, the fans and the crowd and the magic. To have an atmosphere like that and people like that around you and surrounding you, it makes you nothing but successful. You know, from going to the grocery store and getting a, hey, good game, you know, by a fan, that's, that's, that's a feeling you don't, you don't let go of. And, um, I'm definitely, I'm going to miss those moments. We have the best fans in the world. Just going to like some of the bigger schools in the Big 12, you know, like ours is full every single game no matter who we play, even in like the preseason games. And to be able to walk out and just hear the fans scream for you. And they also have like that Hilton Magic feel that helps you come back from a loss, you know. Or you might be down and you end up winning because, you know, of Hilton Magic. And it's, I'm definitely going to miss that being able to be on the court. And I'm sure, you know, like I'll also join Hilton Magic next year because I'd love to come watch games. But being on the court is totally different. I'm definitely going to miss that feeling. It's a bitter, sweet feeling. Um, I love Iowa State and uh, I'll be, be so happy to graduate and uh, take what I've learned here and, uh, you know, apply it to the real world. I plan to, you know, live here in Ames um, this next year, and then I have plans to go to the military. Um, that's something I've been thinking about for a while, and as my teammates would agree, I'm not the you know sit down desk type of person. I uh, I've always had like a passion for this, and um, through what you know Coach Finley has taught us, um, you know life lessons throughout our basketball career uh, to graduate with a degree, especially to my family, is a huge accomplishment. It's definitely, it's hard to, you know, accept the fact that, you know, school's gonna be over, basketball's gonna be over. I don't, I don't really know how I'll handle that, but um, I'll find a way. Just knowing that basketball's coming to an end for me is really hard because I've just played the sport for so long. And, and knowing that it's time to hang up the shoes and the jersey, it's not the best feeling, but you know, the saying goes, all good things have to come to an end. So, I mean, but that's also good. You know, I get to learn <laughs> to be an adult the right way. And I'll have a bachelor's degree. And so I should be able to find a good job in my career. A saying from Coach Finley that's, you know, sticks with me is uh, no excuses, no regrets. Um, 
we hear that you know every time before games and uh, you can really apply that to anything in life and you know once you're once you're stuck on something do it to the best of your capability um, you know 40 minutes hard when you know you relate to when you relate it to basketball and um, whatever the outcome is don't regret it you know it's something that I'll take take with me um, one definitely that I'll always and I actually say it a lot um, is uh, anybody can well for basketball he says anybody can start the game it's all about who finishes but in reality that's kind of about anything um, a big part that I use that was with therapy I mean I could start therapy but it's how I finish it like how did I make it through like it's all about how I finish it so I was able to come back out on the court he always you know does say you can start something but it's really all about how you finish and when you apply that to you know graduating and um, com completing four years of uh, college eligibility for you know basketball it's it's a big accomplishment but um, it was a rough start and to be able to finish and be proud of how I finished is uh, really 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 important to me and you know having no excuses and no regrets um, for the final outcome is uh, it's a big a big big part of you know saying you know who he is as a person and you know what he's taught us along the way uh, from being an athlete and also being a, a, a regular person. Hey Cyclone Nation, it's been a great four years. We love you. Once a cyclone, always a cyclone. Woo! We love you.